the tea is piping hot on Love is Blind. It took a complete 180 from last week and I was not expecting that. Hey y'all, hey, if you're new, hi. If not, welcome back, babes. FYI, there will be spoilers in this video. Be sure to save this and come back if you don't want all of the tea. I will link my recap from episodes one through six below and pinned in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. On today's recap, we will be discussing the dynamic between the couples completely shifting, my personal suspicions, some of the most cringiest moments, and some of my icks. The dynamics of the couples completely shifted towards the end of the DR trip. The editing in episode seven, well done. Netflix is petty. We saw a very different side of Ken. Ken, I was rooting for you. I'm disappointed. We learned a little bit more about Clay. He still gives player vibes. Amy mentioning her dad was a red flag. I mean, like, why sign up for a show that you know that your dad might not approve of the marriage? And if he doesn't approve, you may not marry the guy. Well, what was the reason? I am still annoyed with Chelsea and Jimmy. When she sees these episodes, she is going to throw up. Them confessionals tells it all. I suspected some things like the Destiny's Child of the cast, which is Chelsea, AD, and Laura, that they would have sex with their with their fiancés. And it's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But yeah, their storylines are running this season, period. My second suspicion is Clay and Jimmy. They give me the vibes that they are the kind of guy that they would get drunk on their bachelor night and have sex with the stripper. I don't see monogamy. Everyone run. Here are the cringiest moments. Chelsea's conversation with her friends and Jimmy. We all know what it's like to second guess things. Overanalyze, we get it. As soon as just is mentioned, that's when the insecurities show and that's when the tears form. She's blinding herself from the red flags and it's very hard to watch. There's another lie. So we went from Megan Fox to Carrie Underwood. Give me a break. The shit has to stop. Another cringy moment for me, sadly, is Johnny and Amy's conversation about the baby prevention. I respect not wanting to have a baby too soon. Enjoy the marriage by all means. No method is 100% effective. Just use condoms or don't get married. It's that simple. My icks are Laura nitpicks the smallest shit. I always felt like he should have chose Sarah Ann anyway. Clay, why your mama took off her scarf to hand it over to AD when you had on a whole sweater? Jesus fix it. I need Jimmy to be honest with Chelsea the same way Ken thought that he was being honest with Brittany. I'm concerned here. Jess and Sarah Ann is coming in hot. I cannot wait for the reunion because baby, if you've watched this season thus far, let's chat in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to keep up with me. Most importantly, we're going to have to finish off the season next week. Duh. See you next week. Bye.